Hey there, it's Boots Owen here. This is a Hotpoint HTB721. I did a test wash on it and it just blew the fuse as soon as the interlock came on. So when the control board came on, the lights flashed and everything, but it was only when I started the cycle, the door interlock, presumably, was the thing that triggered it. So I'm gonna have a look at that. So I removed the interlock, it just had two screws, that's how it was mounted in behind the door. And it has a little latch thing that goes side to side in here. I guess to lock it. The plug should just pull out. There it is. Three lines, three cables going in. Um, DM series patented Rolo, is it? R O L O. C E marked. So, how do we get in here? I presume it, this pulls up. I'm going to break it, I have a feeling. I'm not sure these things are meant to come apart. There, something clicked. This is one of those adventures where you get your fingers chopped off or smashed in by these things. Flat bladed screwdriver at the ready. it popping up now. I've seen a guy, Night Scrapper UK I think he's called, and what he does is he puts things in the freezer. What is even going on there? There should be like a pin or something that drops out. Now how are we gonna get in here? So what he does is he puts stuff in the freezer then smash it with a hammer. It's a lot easier. I can agree with that, it would be. There's one tab, let's break it off because I don't want this to go back together. Don't really care. There we go, okay. Oh, look at this. It's tiny and it's complex. But is it broken? So, okay, so there's the interlock bit. I presume that locks this and the door is closed, that, that just drops in and stops it coming open again. Now will this flat bladed screwdriver do this Phillips screw? Of course it won't. I'm just looking for any signs of burning or arcing or generally being broken. Brass and copper in here. Okay. Brass and copper, go into the center tab. Left hand tab here. Right hand tab. That looks like it's welded on, is it? Oh, we've lost a load of little bits. What have we lost? There's a little black thing and there's this little thing here can't remember what it is, but it, it does something. There's nothing looks burned in there. Nothing looks arced, damaged. I've seen ones that are a lot worse. That is a little screw. Wow. Imagine assembling this kind of stuff for money. I hope machines make things like this. Those are heated over, welded, if you will. They're not welded, it's not right. The plastic is melted over, staked over, I guess you could call it. It's a bit of heating there, but that's not the same as being burnt out. That doesn't mean, like I haven't done any tests on it or anything like that, so I really don't know if what I'm telling you is true. There's another bit of brass, whoops, pop. Brass, brass, copper. If there's no weight in that, people scrap. Jeez, there's absolutely no weight. I can't even. It's very light. It's just basically three tabs. The tabs are the biggest bits where the wires connect on. It looks like a bit of stainless or a bit of spring steel or something. A bit of bluing on there. It might be bimetallic. Some letters on it there. Tab. 
Don't know. And this little button thing. Tell me what that is again. Somebody told me what they were. Probably carcinogenic. Anyways, there's nothing I can see in there. There's a bit of heating on there, but that doesn't look like it's burnt out. Why would it have arced and turned itself off? Any ideas? Questions or comments? Leave them below. Thanks for watching. See you later.